Let's talk about how to get rid of your skin tags and warts within one day, hopefully. Now, many times it'll actually disappear within one day, 24 hours, but sometimes it actually shrinks and it takes a little bit longer. With some people, it could take up to four to six weeks. So give it a little time, but this remedy is extremely effective. So skin tags and warts, what is the actual cause? Well, most of the information I could find points to the HPV virus, human papilloma virus. This is an extremely common virus that infects 325 million women worldwide. And there are over a hundred different types and 14 of them have the ability to cause cancer. But realize that what determines someone getting cancer or not is really the epigenetic factors. Those are the things that are superior to your genes, like the environment, uh, what you expose yourself to, your lifestyle, what you eat, your stress level. And so you can do a lot of things to keep this virus in remission. Now, when you get infected with a virus, uh, your immune system is going to fight that virus. But these viruses are very, very stealth. And so they go into hiding and they don't necessarily bother anything. So there's no red flags for your immune system to find them. And so they just wait and they wait and they wait until your immune system becomes lowered. Let's say you get older, you go through stress, and then it comes out and it kicks you when you're down. In fact, the cause of cervical cancer for women is HPV. And this is the fourth most common cause of cancer in women. So it's a pretty big deal, but there are several studies that I'm gonna list down below that show uh, that you can use a simple home remedy called iodine to help make these skin tags and warts go bye-bye. So one study showed 77% success rate, but I'm not satisfied with 77. We wanna bring it closer up to 100%. So this is why we're gonna add garlic. Now, garlic is not only deadly to viruses, but also to cancer. The phytonutrient allicin in garlic suppresses viruses from invading different areas of the body, including the cervix and the anal canal. Now, there's some great data that I found in a patent. Someone was attempting to get the patent using topical iodine to help suppress the HPV virus, to inactivate this virus, to decrease the risk of cervical dysplasia, and to prevent cancer in the uterus and the anal canal. So I'll put that information below. Now, in this natural home remedy, you're gonna be using two things. You're gonna be using povidone iodine, which you can get pretty much anywhere in the drugstore, and you're gonna be using some fresh garlic. Now, there's a few things that you need to know about povidone iodine. Number one, it's uh, less toxic than other types of iodine. It's very soluble, so it can actually absorb into the skin and do its magic. This type of iodine is also used to treat burns and vaginal infections. And apparently microbes don't become resistant to it like an antibiotic and other forms of treatment. So iodine is really good to suppress viruses, bacteria, fungus, mold, parasites, and so is garlic. Garlic is antimicrobial as well. So the combination of both of these items is gonna be very deadly to that skin tag, and wart. So this is how you make this concoction. You take a little dish and you crush up some garlic, okay? Crush it up to the point where there's some juice in the garlic. Now you're gonna get another dish with a couple drops of povidine iodine. And then you're gonna take a very small amount. I'm talking about maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of the garlic juice and some of the material, just a tiny bit, and mix it with the iodine. Just mix it all up in a solution. Then you'll take that solution and apply it topically right over the skin tag or the wart, and then cover it up with a Band-Aid. Then you're gonna take this garlic, cover it up with a little saran wrap, keep it in the refrigerator. It's gonna last one day because what you wanna do is you wanna do two applications per day. So you can use the same garlic that you crushed in the morning. And again, just put a couple drops of iodine with it, mix it up, apply it to the same skin tag and wart, and then covered up with another Band-Aid. So you're just repeating the same thing twice a day. And you're gonna do this every day until the skin tag or wart is completely gone. Now, what determines the speed at which it goes away is probably related to your health. You may be a diabetic or pre-diabetic or have very severe insulin resistance. 
because diabetics or people with blood sugar problems have a higher risk of getting skin tags and warts. And so there's definitely in this correlation between insulin resistance and viruses. So as a side note, if you haven't already gone on the ketogenic diet and practice intermittent fasting, I would highly recommend you do that because those two things are very powerful and can help you in the long run to prevent them from coming back. Now, some people will see a complete disappearance within about seven hours, but like I said before, it could take some weeks, even up to six weeks, but you should see a gradual reduction in the size over time. Now, the garlic that you use when you crush it uh, should last several days. However, we want to make sure that the potency is at its highest level. So I'm going to recommend you use a fresh clove of garlic every single day. And also when you crush the garlic, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the phytochemicals to become activated, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be putting this material with iodine underneath the band-aid. So it'll have a time to absorb into the skin and do its magic. Now, I also recommend that you eat garlic during this process and you use it in your food. You can get garlic powder as a supplement. And on top of that, start taking zinc. Zinc is also very beneficial for viruses, especially HPV. So I would recommend taking about 50 uh, milligrams of zinc every single day in a blend of trace minerals. If you want more information on that, I put a link down below. But the fact that you have a skin tag and a wart could indicate that your blood sugars um, are too high. Your A1C might be a little bit higher. You may have insulin resistance. So this is why you should start the ketogenic diet as well as intermittent fasting. I put a real simple to understand playlist of your exact steps right here. Check it out.